In this session, we are discussing acceptability of one input string by a DFA. See, a string x which is which is belonging to sigma star, you know, sigma means all the input symbols set. So, that is finite non empty set of input symbols or input alphabets is accepted by a finite automaton m. m is having the same thing that is the q sigma delta q 0 f we have discussed everything in our earlier videos if delta q 0 x is equal to q that means if we apply this particular x as the input string for the initial state k 0 then if we reach to the terminating state as q and if q belongs to the set of the states final states f then the string x will get accepted by this dfa this is acceptability of a string by the final state. If you are having any problem, we can discuss that one with an example. We are having two properties for the transition functions. So, two properties are there. Property number one, delta q kappa is equal to q. That means, for the state transition, I required a valid input. Property number two, let us suppose that is a string called w, which belongs to sigma star. That means, consisting of input alphabets and input symbol a. So, a is also belonging to sigma. So, now if we apply delta q a w that means that is the concatenated string one is a and the rest part is w and w is containing consisting of multiple input alphabets or maybe null also because it is star. Then delta delta q a w that means if we apply a to q, you will be reaching to the next state and on that very next state, if we apply w, you will be reaching to the same terminating state if we apply a w to q. Similarly, I could have written this one in this way also, that means w a. So, here the bunch of input symbols is w and a is a single input symbol and if we apply this one, that means in this particular initial state, initial means the state from where we are just doing this one. So, for this particular initial state q, if we apply w, you will be reaching to a terminating state and on the terminating state, if you apply a, you will be reaching to the final terminating state and they will have the same terminating states. So, in this way, it has been depicted. So, in our example, I will be using this for property 1 and in our example, I shall be using this property number 2. So, for the better understanding, let us go for the example one transition table is given below. Okay, we have got one transition table where q1 is the initial state as well as the final state. We are having two input symbols 0 and 1 and we are having four number of states q1 to q4 and that is the input string given. That is the input string given. So, I will be starting with this input string with the initial state q1. I shall have to judge or I shall have to uh, comment in for the whether this input string is getting accepted by this DFA or not. So, given input string is 10101. So, I think it is 11, I think. Okay. So, the input string is 110101. So, that is my input string is this one. So, I shall have to tell whether this input string is getting accepted or not. That means, if you go on uh, reading this particular inputs from the input string and if you uh, consider the next states and so on. And if we reach to the terminating state as q1, which is, which is the final state, then this particular input string will get accepted and that has been written here. Let me go for the next steps. Okay. Now, we are having delta q1, we are having delta q1, 110101. So, my, uh, my reading pointer is on q1. So, I shall go for q11, delta q11. So, delta q11 means I shall be going to the state q2, I shall be going to the state q2 and then the pointer will have its advance. So, I shall be remaining with 10101. So, if you consider what I am doing here is that it is my A and uh, let it be my W. So, something like this. So, first symbol I am considering it as A and the rest part I am considering it as W because W belongs to sigma whole star. 
because it is a combination of multiple input alphabets. Okay, now see. So now we are going for this Q1, and then we are going for this Q2. So now my uh, reading head is here. So I shall go for Q11. Sorry, Q21. So Q21 means I shall go for Q1. So Q1 will be there. So I'll be remaining with this. So my input pointer will be this one. So now Q10. So Q10 means I shall be going for Q3. And I shall be remaining with this. My input pointer will be here. So now Q31. So Q31. So I'll be going for Q4. Remaining one will be this one. So my reading head will be here. So now Q40. Q40. So Q40 means Q2. So this one will be remaining. And my reading head or reading pointer will be on this particular symbol 1. So Q21. So now what about Q21? Q21 I am getting this one as Q1. Q21 I am getting this one as Q1. So this is Q1 and this is my kappa. So here you see we have applied property number 2 here. We have applied that one. And here we are going to apply property number 1. What was the property number 1? Delta Q kappa is equal to Q. So delta Q1 kappa is equal to Q1. So I will be writing here as Q1. So what is what is delta state transition functions? We have discussed everything in our earlier videos. Just watch them. And now it is my terminating state is my Q1. Is Q1 the final state? Yes, Q1 is the final state. That means what? That means applying this particular input string x from the from the starting state, initial state Q1, I reached to a certain state, which is a member of F. So that is the set of final states member of f so that means the string has got accepted so in this way the acceptability of a certain input string by one dfa can be determined so these sort of questions might be coming so please do some practice on such problems and thanks for watching this video